Well, I see a bottle of absinthe in front of me, so I'm getting ready to trip some balls. Yes, finally. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen with this drink. I'll still keep dancing. <laughs> Somebody help. Yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot, Shimmy. So today we were making the Sazerac, which I'm super excited about because I actually went to New Orleans pretty recently and I drank probably a keg's worth of Sazeracs there and I had an awesome time. I was actually surprised YouTube when you asked me to make this because YouTube is... usually be pretty stupid. The Long Island iced tea thing is never gonna happen by the way. <laughs> <laughs> or we shoot an episode with iced tea on Long Island. Oh. And then we make something else. All right, so pretty simple lineup here. What do we have? Um, so we have the Peixal Bitters. Um, we have Hennessy VS Cognac. It's pretty decent cognac. And then you have the Leopold Brothers. I like this absinthe the color. It's great, too. And it's a gorgeous bottle, so it's the one I prefer. White sugar cubes and lemon. We just need to use the peel on. Let's talk about a little bit of the history that goes along with the Sazerac. So the Sazerac, was America's first cocktail, reportedly. And um, the first notes of it that you see are around mid 1800s or so. At the time, they were using cognac in their cocktails. But then phylloxera happened. And then. Who's doing what now? It's a big word, is guys. That, is that like a new uh, a rap guy? Yeah, phylloxera. He's I like, think I got that album on Spotify. He raps with T Rex arms. <laughs> the album sucks, by the way. Phylloxera is like a little like aphid looking weevil guy that eats Vitus vinifera, um, which is great. I, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> Vitus vinifera are grapes, guys. They're grapes used for wine. Since it ate up all the grapevines, you couldn't get cognac anymore. So then they started making it with rye whiskey. Well, this so, is the OG way to do it, but yeah. you know, rye is still A-OK. -okay. Yeah, rye is still great, still acceptable. I actually make it with rye at the bars because if you make it with cognac, people get really confused. So it's just something that you, you'd you have to request at the bar. They're not automatically going to make it with this. So the absinthe, it actually is just to coat the glass. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do to trick someone's mind without using a whole bunch of absinthe and having an absinthe cocktail. You can get the essence of it and the smell of it by just coating your glass with it. It's, it's an anisette, so that's essentially what you're using. So it's this anise flavored liqueur. Absinthe though, I mean, wasn't that illegal for a long time? But it was. now apparently you can get it in pretty packaging. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's exactly the same stuff that was in it before, I'm guessing not. But yes, it was illegal for a long time. So they have products as well that go into um, Sazerac's like Herb Saint is great, or they'll use like Perno or something like that to coat the glass. So absinthe today might not be exactly the way it used to be, but we have a whole episode of Why Would You Eat That about the history of it and stuff. So if you guys are nerds and you want to go check that out, feel free. It's pretty interesting, actually. Yeah. I mean, nerding out on alcohol is not the same as nerding out on like Dungeons and Dragons. All right, so those are our ingredients. It's time to make a Sazerac. This is how we do it. Ooh, <laughs> listen to that. <laughs> this is how we drink Sazeracs. Let's get started. We're gonna chill our old fashioned glass um, by just adding a little bit of ice into there. All right. And then you're gonna pour about a half ounce or so of absinthe. Um, we're gonna take one sugar cube and put it at the bottom of our mixing glass. And we're gonna soak it with some bitters. Just a layer at the bottom of the glass. And we're going to take our spoon. We've all seen spoons with this little disc at the end. And you're gonna smish it. So. That ice cube was a wimp. It's a sugar cube. Whatever. I don't want the sugar all the way dissolved. I actually prefer in my cocktails to have those little granules of sugar at the end of it. it makes it kind of nice. Then we're gonna take our cognac. About two ounces. I add some ice. And we'll give it a stir. You're gonna use a different spoon for this. I like using the ones with the weights on the top. And you're gonna get this all the way cold because it's gonna go into that glass with no ice in it. We see here that our absinthe has turned this nice milky color. That's called luching. Luch. We're gonna just spin this around and 
dump it out. But you want to keep some in the glass. You see how we have a nice coating on the inside? And it's also going to pool a little bit at the bottom. You want to keep that in there. Then we're going to put this in our glass there. Lemon peel. And then you're just going to spray the oils right over the top of the cocktail. There you go. Sazerac. Sazerac, that's pretty simple, right? You wanna see if this one's awesome? I'm excited. I have yeah. never had a cognac Sazerac, which might be my new rap name. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Does it remind you of happier times, T? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to drink all of this. <laughs> so if I seem crazy in the next episode of How to Drink, this is why. We might as well wrap this up. I'm yeah. busy. So thank you for watching Tasty Guys and more specifically how to drink. And be sure to subscribe. And then also leave in the comments section what you'd like us to make next. Because apparently I listen to you. If you say Sazerac's again, I'll come to your house and give you an HJ. <laughs> really, T?